freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. You join me today on a Monday morning. I should be miserable because it's Monday, but I'm actually, you know what, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> um, it's absolutely, well it was earlier, absolutely lashing it down with rain. I've had to change my trousers once, well, my shorts technically. I've got a coat down there drying up on the night heater, just trying to dry it all up. It's been, it's been raining all day today. Absolute menace. <laughs> um, give me a dry day any day it's been one of those days where i just got i've just been windswept and soaked through but never mind it's all part of the job anyway hope you're okay uh today we are in this video it's gonna be over a couple of days uh, like i said today's monday we're gonna go get loaded now we're off our, off on our way to whiz beach actually we're on whiz beach now actually um <laughs> but we're off to alpro to get loaded with timber can we go yes we can Yes, we're on our way to get loaded with timber now. We've got two deliveries. One, what was it called? I think E-Riff, e I think it was called. It's right next to Dartford. Um, so we're gonna, right now we're in Wisbeach. We're gonna go all the way down. I think it's, I don't, I don't actually know what road it is. <laughs> we're gonna go down towards the M25, uh, go over Dartford Bridge, and then we're gonna park up for the night. Hopefully, I think I know somewhere to park. Fingers crossed there's a parking space. And then we'll be just around the corner for tomorrow uh, to deliver it first thing to E-Riff. Uh, that's, that's assuming we actually get loaded, by the way, because we're going to be there at 10 past 3. I'm sure they load you by then. I'm not sure, but I just, <laughs> I just said I'm sure they load us. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I, I reckon they do. What are you doing? Don't cross. But we're about to find out. If they don't, then we're obviously parking up here for the night. Um, or I'll go park somewhere else, so I'll park there in another video. Um... So yeah, Wiz Beach down to E Riff, I think it was. And then from E Riff, we've got to go to a place called Deal, which I believe is like very, very East Essex, I think. Uh, I think, might be wrong. <laughs> um, but that's what we're going to do in this video. So we've got two deliveries um, with timber, but we've got to go get loaded first. That is the plan. Um, is that the entrance? No, it's around the corner a bit more. Yeah, we'll just park up somewhere down here if we have to. There we go. It's right on the bend. Ugh. Right on the bend. Right, what we do is we just park up and someone comes out to us normally, or well, they used to. I'm hoping that's still the case because I don't really want to be getting very, very wet. So I think that's the case. Let's just park it here. <clears throat> Ah, Deal isn't in Essex, it's in Kent. My bad. <laughs> it's um, East Deal. Uh, East, East Deal. It's East Kent. Very East Kent. Like, if you think Margate, on the... Right on the edge, basically, but but down. It's the bottom bottom end of Kent. Near, near Dover, actually. Yeah. Hiya. Good afternoon, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? Good afternoon. I've got uh, one... Eight, please. Yeah, it's got two drops, E Riff and Deal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Cool, dude. Thank you. Right, so, as you can see, I look like a complete melon, completely dressed up in orange, look. <laughs> Legs and everything. Um, yeah, it's getting dark now. We're loaded. It was raining, the rain's just stopped. So that's good. It's 
one of those loads where they sort of, the way it's loaded is sort of angled. So you throw a strap over, or two straps over one side, and only one of those straps actually hit the, the pallets on the other side, if that makes sense. I don't know if I worded that out right. Basically the whole load is sort of diagonal. <laughs> so you end up using an extra strap on the end, basically. Uh, you undo two straps and actually only, so only affected one on the other side. So, yeah, probably don't make sense, but it just means you've got to be careful when strapping it up. You throw two straps over on one side, only one would be on the other side, if that makes sense. You've got to wait for something else to be put on the other side before you throw that second one over. Does that make sense? Thinks it makes sense. Anyway, I'll show you the load in a minute. Like I said, it is getting dark. We are in for a bit of a drive tonight as well. Probably want to go as far as we can tonight. But I need to see how much driving time i got left. Uh, should be alright, thinking about it in my head should be alright. But I think it's going to be a three hour drive to where we're going to park up tonight and it's 20 past four now. So yeah, we're looking at half past seven. Maybe later, yeah, probably will be later than half seven because we'll be caught in traffic unless we've got to wait for paperwork as well yet, so. Yes. My hands are cold and wet. I'm wearing complete waterproofs just to try and stay dry because the rain is just really bad today. Please be dry tomorrow, please be dry tomorrow. Anyway, let me show you the truck. So there she is. Shout out to Kieran for giving her a wash for me. And that's the load we got on. Um, all of it up until that one. So we've got four this side and for the second drop, four the other side as well. But you can see there's three straps on on those two. But if you go and look on the other side, that strap there completes the other side, if that makes sense. There's this bit which makes it look all diagonal. Uh, and anyway, the rest of it is for the first drop. So we'll get that off tomorrow morning. Anyway, let's go grab the paperwork. Hey, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're in the dry. Wet clothes are off. We're back in the shorts and t-shirt, left the heating on inside the truck, so um, yes, very warm inside, got the window open for now, but uh, it's pretty warm, just got to wait for uh, this truck in front to be checked, which is what that lady's doing, and then she'll check us as well, so yeah, it's just going to be a case of just waiting here for a second. Um, in the meantime, I can see how long it's going to take me to get to my estimated parking space because it's, I think it's just around the corner from where we are going to deliver in the morning and I've parked there before. Let's have a look. I've already, I've already had a look see how much driving we can do. We can do three and a half hours tops. Three and a half hours tops. And we are looking at two hours 50 minutes so yeah we've got 40 minutes to spare hmm. he is somewhere on the way down as well we've got to get fuel we've got a quarter of a tank and we got we're definitely going to need fuel before we get to Dartford because there's no one sort of nearby that we, we can fill up with on the card that we're using at the moment so we are going to have to get fuel on the way down which I don't particularly like the idea of because it means parking up with a full tank of fuel and I try to not do that as much as I can Right, we've got our paperwork. Turn those beacons off. Yeah, so... Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven packs for the first delivery. Uh, delivery instructions. Temporarily closing at 2.30. Well, that's fine, I'll be there first thing in the morning. And I did just take a look at their address. It looks like an absolute crap hole. <laughs> it's going to be fun. They don't open until 7.30. And they're closed now. So I can't call them to, to book in. But yeah, it looks like... Pfft, looks like a like a lateral crap hole, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then we got a reverse in, by the looks of it, into their yard. But 
hey ho, that's uh, that's something to sort out tomorrow. But yeah, we're we're loaded anyway, so we're going to crack on to our delivery point. Actually, we're going to go get fuel first, which is 23 minutes away, and then um, crack on to uh, to our parking tonight. It should be parked up by about half past four, give or take. We'll see. We'll see if we get caught up in traffic anywhere. But yeah, let's go. Oh, oh. We're nearly there. You're just gonna pull out? Yeah, I thought you were just gonna pull out. Just just about enough time, I'd say. Just about enough time. Yes, it is. Well, you join me three hours later. It is, uh, well, it's quarter to eight now at night. Quarter to eight. And uh, we just found the corner from where we're planning on parking up for the night. Um, so this is my first port of call. If there's no room here, then I need to stop and try and find somewhere else to park. Um, I don't actually know where else to park, so I'm hoping there's space here. That being said, I'm only on eight hours and 20 minutes of driving, so I could do, in theory, another 40 minutes of driving at least to find somewhere to park up, and then if I had to, really had to, I can go into a 10 hour drive. So I've still got like an hour and 40 minutes of driving time left. And uh, you can obviously you can work a 15 hour day as well, and I didn't start work this morning until about half past six. So I can work. Was it half past six? Might have even been 20 to seven. So that's 20 to 10 I can work until. Half nine, 20 to 10, something like that. Um, so yeah, we've got at least an hour's working time available as well. So hopefully there's space up here, but if not, we've got, we got an hour's working time at least and an hour's driving time at least as well, so. Fingers crossed, though, there is somewhere to park. It's a pretty big area. I'm gonna put the four beam on that because we can see more then. We've got cars coming in behind us. No, we haven't. As you can see, there's loads of lorries already parked up, so could be an issue. Let's get further on down. There's a space there if I had to. It's a little bit tight, but we should be all right. It's a little bit concerning how many trucks are here, I'm not gonna lie. There's a massive gap there, mate, that you could pull forward into, but never mind. Right, this is our turning circle. I'm just gonna park here. I'm gonna spin round and park here. There's no, there's no lines on this side. Well. Maybe there is, but I don't really care. I'm parking here. Just gonna go back now. We are on a, a slight incline because I can't I can't really see what's behind me too much, so I am sort of almost in the middle of the road. If I go back far enough, I can then drive forward. Lost the back end a bit there. Correct that. We are tight up against the round side now, so we're definitely definitely not in the middle of the road. Right, I've gone far enough back now that we can go forward. I'm, uh, I am going to park up on the left side so that we are facing the flow of traffic. Because I do think that's the best thing to do. And yeah, just going to park here. Not too close to the junction so lorries can spin around still. In fact, I might go back a tiny little bit. Because lorries will be using the junction right in front of me to spin around. So yeah, we will go back a tiny little bit. There we go. Gives me plenty of room then. So I'm not interfering with um, re reversing manoeuvres. Turn the light back on so you can actually see me. Um, right. Uh, 
what am I doing? That on, night heater on, hazards off, engine off. Yes, lights off. Oh, we're good. We're gonna go outside and just double check the straps because one or two might be loose. It's not unusual for, for straps to come loose when you're pulling wood um, because the wood flexes, especially when it's wet. No, I bought this thinking it was really good. Don't be tangling up on me. What's going on? Well, that's disappointing that this is sort of semi undone itself. I don't want to be faffing around with this every time. Literally just bought this. Right. Okay. How do we look? How do we look? Oh, where's this lorry going? I don't know whether this lorry is coming all the way down here or not. Um, come with me. Come with me. And you'll see. A world of your imagination. Right, here we go. Obviously we need to check the other side, primarily. Make sure it's all done up tight. But might as well check this side while we're at it. Oh, that one's a bit loose. Yeah, we're just, we're just checking them all up. Make sure the load is still on. That one could maybe do with being tightened up a little bit. This lorry's coming down right beside me. All right, we're on a bit of an embankment. Ugh. Never mind. See, we can do them up. If we can do them up, we will. Just to be safe. See, this one is quite loose. We just around the corner from where we want to be anyway, so we ain't got to go far in the morning. This one was loose as well, look. It's totally normal for wood to go loose, especially over like three hours of driving, which I've just done. I don't think that lorry's now parking behind me. He's gone off a bit. Oh no, he is going back. See, that one's fine. That one's fine. Just tuck that back up. That's fine. Maybe one or two. Yeah. And this one could go one or two as well. There we go. We're good. Just turn that off so you can see me. This is this is where we fall flat on our ass. <laughs> We're on an embankment. There we go. So we're going to jump back in the truck. Put you back up there. Oh, lovely topic. So yeah, uh, load is secure. Why are you parking there? I've parked in my position and that lorry's parked on the right hand side now creating an angle for like lorries to go through don't make sense no I think he's moving again I don't think he's sure what he wants to do to be honest with you looks like he's uh he's gonna go forward again <laughs> anyway I'll see you in the morning uh be there for about half past seven I think so uh, Hopefully it'll be daylight. Hopefully. See you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome. It is the next day. It is Tuesday. 
and we are stuck in traffic. <laughs> um, yeah, we uh, started work about 20 minutes ago or so, I think. 22 minutes ago of driving. And then daily trip before that and whatnot. So, yeah, we uh, woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. And uh, we're on our way to our first delivery of the day. But we've been stuck in traffic. We've been stuck in traffic, which is not good. This is not good. Luckily... It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. It looks very nice outside for a morning. Nice and crisp. No, well, there are some clouds, but it doesn't look like rain clouds. So, fingers crossed it's not going to rain today. Hey, Siri, is it going to rain today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. Thank you very much. doesn't look like it's going to rain today. That is that is what I want to hear. Thank you, Siri. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, we're just we're sat in traffic. We want to take a right-hand turn coming up at these traffic lights. And then we can head on down into the industrial estate. But the estate, I don't know, I looked on Google Maps last night, the estate just looks like uh, too small. <laughs> too small. Uh, it looks like I've got to reverse in off the road to get in, but it's like quite a relatively narrow road. If there's trucks parked in the way, it could be difficult. Yeah, well, I mean, it could be fine when we get there. We're, we're, we'll see when we get there, but yeah, it's going to be awkward, I think. Green lights. They are obviously going to change by the time I get there. Please stay, please stay green, 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 you bugger. Typical. <laughs> Bloody typical. Unsuitable for HGVs down the right. Well, we're not going right, so that's good. That's good. But yeah, this looks to be the start of the industrial estate, by the looks of it. EMR recycling. I've delivered to places like that before. Not this one, though, I don't think. No, not this one. Oh, I can just tell it's going to be a bit of a pain when we get in. You know when you just have a feeling? I have that feeling. If the industrial estate is a road like this, it won't be too bad. should be able to reverse in off the road, no problem. Vehicles can pass either side, but I do think it's even smaller than that. Okay. Good view of Dartford Bridge, though, look. Right ahead. Don't know if you can see that. We'll be closer in a sec. Very good view of Dartford Bridge. If you can say there's a good view of Dartford Bridge, that is. Could have parked down here as well. Definitely could have parked down here for the night. I think, well, I don't know. I don't know how main route the road is, but there's no lines to say you can't park. I think that, I don't think there was a sign saying urban clearway or anything like that. So no, I, th I reckon you could have parked here. Du -du. Oh, she's getting narrow, Shag. Yeah, you don't want to park here. <laughs> But yeah, it just looks to be like an industrial estate. What the hell is that? Just seems to be an industrial estate dumped in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a crap hole. And yeah, what the heck? It's in the waters and everything. What the hell? That's appalling. That is appalling. I don't know who the council is of Dartford, but they need to sort that out. That's mad. That is mad. Who are we delivering to? Orchard fencing. That yellow sign. Straight ahead. That is who we're delivering to. I bet there's floods here as well when it's really wet. I bet it floods. Right. Get ready. Because it looks horrible. On the maps. This looks horrible. Parking restrictions apply, so you can't park on here overnight. Uh, this is going to be fun, I think.
You're welcome. It's definitely flooding here. Um, all right, we should be able to go left as long as there's no cars parked in the way on the road. So already there's loads of trucks parked on the left. Uh, we're delivering here. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. got nowhere else to park but just here on the left temporarily quickly jump in or jump out and say I'm here where do you want me maybe they can move stuff out of the way I don't know but my god it's all their own trucks in the way as well right be right back <coughs> yeah it's a sh oh isn't it <laughs> I'll reverse straight back, mate. I've got no room in front. I'll go back. Ugh. Honestly, it's a grab hole. Ugh. So, I think, are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. We're, uh... they just got to clear the yard and then someone will hopefully come out and get me. Cheers, mate. Right, so they've moved that little one out of the way so we can at least not block anyone. That's the main thing. Phase one complete, not blocking anyone. They've got to move the truck in front, which is their own, clear their yard, and then, yeah, it's a case of reversing in. So, yes. It's fun. Fun, 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 fun. Right, I think we're about to reverse in. Don't have an awful lot of room, but we'll give it a go. We are going to mount the curb just to get on in. I can't see anyone. I thought I heard someone say whoa. I think they were saying go. No worries, mate. That's the gate.
This side first then, yeah? You want me on this side first? Right. I'll, uh, I'll do this side first and then I'm on that side the right way to go out then and I. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, do that. Alright. Get a different angle. I guess I'm driving out. Let me move that lorry, I guess, so I can get out. So if I go on the left side first. We can then move over and do the right side, then I'm on the correct side to swing out, if that makes sense. So we get on the left side first. Lovely. Right, we're in. Let's get the straps off. I'll see you in a bit. So as you can see, it's starting to come off now. Uh, it's only four wall packs left to come off on the other side, then we'll move over and do this side. And then, I think, once they've all taken off, I just need to throw one more strap over this side. As I was saying yesterday, because I sort of angled a little bit, behind this one, uh, like right there, on the other side, is something of theirs. So I've got to do the strap so they can take it off, but then put the strap back over so they can secure this side, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, like, I'll show you, so. Green strap, green strap, it's sitting on the other side. There you go, green strap is there. So when they take these two away, there'll be a bit of an overhang left on the other side. So that's what I'm saying. I had to undo the green one so they can get these ones off. There you go, so I've put that green strap back over now so you can see what I mean. So I need secure on this end, but there was something here. That's what I was trying to say. Because of that, basically, it was a zigzag all the way along. Uh, but anyway, that's secure now. Two more pallets to come off, well, one more now and then we'll be off. Right, we're little tipped. Tipped, that's the one. We're tipped. I was gonna say loaded. <laughs> delivery one made. Off to delivery number two. Paperwork is there. I've already got the destination set into the sat-nav. Sorted it all out yesterday. We are good to go. Phone on the cradle and seat belt on. Hazards off, indicate left, and off we go. Off we go. Ooh, yes, you're gonna be a bit snug. Get out of here. They've, uh, they've moved the van well, not the van, the lorry, from here, so I can swing out. But placed it here, what, what are you? Are we going, or? I think this orchard fencing is going now. I hope. Yeah, we look good. Anyway, sun is well out. Sun is well out. It is definitely sunglasses weather. <coughs> anyway, it's uh, an hour and 49 minutes to our next destination. So we should be there before half past 10. And we ain't got a lot on, and from what I remember, looking on the map yesterday, it looked like a much better place to go to. It's right next to a train track. Oh, what are we doing? That van needs to come down here. I think that ultra fencing is parking up. Yeah. So there's not a lot of room down here. I said that from the off. So yeah, we're going, we're going to a place called Deal. It looks like it's right next to a train track. We've got to run parallel to a train track by the looks of it. Looks a little bit narrow. But once you get in, it looks like there's plenty of room. So uh, we won't have to be messing around with 
waiting for trucks. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, anyway, I was speaking to the guy who just offloaded me the forklift. I said, what's with all the rubbish? I said, it looks horrible. So he goes, oh, apparently he's only been there two weeks, he said. Apparently there was a fire or something, and um, a couple of weeks ago they started dumping all this rubbish. That's what he said, I don't know how true it is. So, uh, yeah. But it looks awful, doesn't it? It does feel good when you've got all that wood off. I just feel a lot lighter. <laughs> you, go, you go a bit more. Uh, it's just, oh, look at all this rubbish, man. It's not good. Not good for the environment. Greta would not be happy. Greta, no tipping. <laughs> There's signs that says no tipping. Yeah, they're, they're really enforcing that, aren't they? Look at the state of it. Look at the state of it. IBCs and everything, so that's Haulier companies included. It's just uh, there's bad apples in every profession. Every industry has bad apples. Oh, it's just look at it. It's more down here as well. It's actually blocking the road. The council have got to do something about that. That's not. That's not only is it dangerous for road users, but it could be a health issue as well rats and stuff ah oh, dear never mind anyway we're out of this crap hole I did say it was a crap hole didn't I <laughs> it looked it it looked like a crap hole on the map satellite view and street view and it was confirmed when we arrived I'm sorry sorry people of Erif but that's horrible that's horrendous right anyway let's crack on the deal I'll see you when we get there okie dokie we are in deal we are in deal. Actually, I think the road sign said Sheldon. Okay, now we're in deal. Now we're in deal. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been pretty quiet drive down here, to be honest. Um, nothing exciting. The sun is well and truly out now. It's going to be awkward getting past all this, these vehicles on the left. Yeah, the sun is uh, well and truly out, which is nice. Yesterday it was lashing down with rain. It was not a nice day yesterday. That car was definitely on his phone. Yeah, it was not a nice day yesterday, what with it raining all day, pretty much. Um, and it was cold and windy and it was just, yeah, just not nice. Today's much better. I'm happy with today. Much happier with today. So yeah, we're just around the corner now. We're only a mile away from where we need to be. Like I said, we need to go down down the side of a train track by the looks of it. It's definitely getting a bit tight around here. Looking on the map, you definitely wouldn't be able to turn into this train track area coming from the other side of the road. You wouldn't be able to make it. We have to go in this way. Oh, it's definitely a bit narrow. It's clear there. Thank you. Definitely narrow here. But yes, this is the only way from what I could see that we can go in. It's also the way the sat nav took me in by default. So it's not like I've gone, oh, this is the only way I can go in. This is what I'm saying. No, this is what the sat nav saying. But also when I looked at it myself, yeah, I don't think I can make the right turn. Um, you'll see when we get there, we're only a mile away. It's gonna be on our left as we arrive, but coming the other way, I don't think we'd make it. I think it'd be too tight. Uh, is that saying the road is closed ahead? We're only 600 yards away from where we need to be. So how far down is this road closure? Because we need to take a left just down here. Let that cyclist come up. Oh no, he's getting on the path. This could be awkward, this could be awkward. Where is this road closure in place? I'm hoping it's after the train track. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see. We're okay at the moment. We might be all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Looks like it's gonna be after the train track. 
where the cranes are. Is that is the road closed where I want to go down? Looks like it. Not sure. Ah, oh, no, the road is closed ahead. Yeah. So we're, we're, there's a man there on the on the on the on the left. That's where we want to be. I'm not going to make that corner. No way am I going to make that corner. That's where I want to go, man. Beacons on. Need to go back, love. Just go back, go back, go back, or go round. I think, looking at the street view on the phone, I can potentially get round there going down this way. There was me saying it's been a pretty uneventful drive up. And then that happens. I think we can get round this way, I think. At least we're off the main road as well. Yeah. Looks like it. This is the way we should have come in. Sat nav was taking me down that way, and that's the way I thought I had to go in as well. So looking at it, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Luckily, there wasn't too busy behind us. Just a couple of cars, <coughs> but we got in. We got in. Woo! I was starting to worry then. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was actually starting to worry. Right. Where do we go here? That's the next question. There's a sign there saying no entry, so let's just pop here. Um, I am going to drive in. Looks like it's a one-way system, so I'm just going to drive in and pull in on the left here. I think. No, do you know what? I'm going to drive all the way down. Why not? I think it's a one-way system where we can drive back out. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, that got, it got me old art going a little bit then. I was like, oh no, have we messed up? Sorry, we might have messed up again yet, yeah, for all I know. Right, there's a forklift there. I reckon this is a safe bet to be unloaded here. Let's see what they say. You all right, mate? I've got a delivery. <laughs> got a delivery for you. Do we just pull forward here? Right, yeah, I'll turn, turn me engine off so I could uh, speak to him probably. But we are in the right place, did the right thing by coming in. Let's get ourselves in position. There's not much to come off here, so it shouldn't take long. Woo! Right. Let's, uh, let's get this off, see you in a bit. 
Right, we're in. Uh, just spoke to the bloke and he said a lot of drivers do that and it used to be the way you used to have to come in parallel to the train track um, but because they, they built a new uh, uh, building site, uh, not building site, housing estate, since they built that new housing estate it's now a new way in so I wasn't wrong to go the way I did, <laughs> it used to be the way and it's the, it looked like the obvious way but never mind, anyway so yeah we're here Anyway, I've just received word. We're actually going to Shore and Ports next to get loaded with more timber. So let's get this off and I will see you in Shore and Port. Okay, you join me maybe four hours later, give or take. I think it was about 11 o'clock. Yeah, it was about 11 o'clock I think when I last saw you, in which case it's five hours. You join me five hours later. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the afternoon right now. We've just got loaded with timber at Shore and Docks. We've been here since two o'clock i think something like that so we've been here for two hours let me just show you the load there she is yeah give or take we've been here for about two hours but we are fully loaded uh i thought you through my process of strapping up so we've got two straps on that uh that's plenty as far as i'm concerned and then we've got five straps on this top one this top one is then pushing down on all of them uh, and it's also helping with this one where there's four in total, which again, pushing down on the more, and then one on the back end. So I deem that satisfactory uh, with regards to strapping up. I was gonna say there's no right or wrong way to do it, but there is, the right way is, needs to be sufficiently strapped. The issue is sufficient uh, means different things to different people. <laughs> so one person might think it's sufficient and another might not. Uh, the key thing is, in my opinion, is just do what you think is safe. Uh, I was actually going to use one less strap, but I changed my mind and decided to put another one on. And then there she is from this side. So again, you've got two on the front right-hand side there. You've got five on the top pushing all the way down, plus uh, this one here where there's another three pushing down and then one on the back end. So it's exactly the same, identical. So yeah, anyway, we're going to jump back in the truck now. Lovely jubbly, engine on. Let's turn that light on. There we go. So yeah, we are now fully loaded. We've got to take this towards St. Albans and uh, it'll be delivery for the morning. But I don't think you're gonna see it. That's gonna be the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I had a couple of comments in one of my most recent videos how do i know how tall the load is so i know that my truck can get under a 4.2 meter bridge and i i can visually see that the back of the the load is lower than the cab therefore i know i can go under a 4.2 meter bridge not a problem having said that i do also have a height stick in my cab so it's, it's down there by my passenger door and uh basically i can measure it and know exactly how high it is should it be required but because i know it's lower than the cab i know that 4.2 meters is uh the lowest i want to go if i won't go and i won't go under a bridge any lower than 4.2 meters put it that way so yeah we're done we're going to uh, go grab our paperwork and then crack on a pod park and cobham services tonight so that'll be another night out two in a row so might get to go home tomorrow i don't know but <laughs> we'll see Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.